It's time for today's travel and cruise industry news. With the latest from travel and cruises around the world, here's your host, Chili Falls. Good morning and welcome to Travel and Cruise Industry News Special Edition on this, the 5th day of June 2022. Luggage overboard. A cruise ship deploys lifeboats after a cage full of luggage falls overboard. And that was not the only luggage story yesterday. We also had a story from our own Katie Kendrick out in Seattle. We'll get to both of those in just a minute. Terrible day for luggage. If you're watching this via the podcast, welcome aboard. Today is National Hot Air Balloon Day. So what you need to do, folks, is go out and find a hot air balloon to rock. That would be lovely to celebrate today. We do have some cruise ships sailing from North America ports today. Up in New York and Brooklyn, the Queen Mary 2 gets underway. From Manhattan, the Norwegian Joy. Bayonne, Oasis of the Seas. Baltimore, the Carnival Legend. Port Canaveral, you've got the Divina, Harmony of the Seas, and Mariner of the Seas all get underway. West Palm Beach, Margaritaville at Sea Paradise sails. Down in Port Everglades, Allure of the Sea gets underway. In Miami, the Scarlet Lady, Explorer of the Seas, Carnival Horizon, and Norwegian Breakaway all sail. New Orleans, Carnival Glory, Galveston, Liberty of the Seas. Up in Seattle, the Discovery Princess, the Norwegian Encore, both sail cruises. The New Amsterdam and Koningsdam, Both have land packages going from Seattle today. In Vancouver, you've got the Celebrity Eclipse, the New Amsterdam, and the Serenade of the Seas, all sail cruises, with the uh, New Amsterdam also has land packages starting from Vancouver. In Anchorage, Nordam uh, has a cruise gets underway. Radiance of the Seas and Majestic Princess both have land packages starting. And in Fairbanks, Radiance of the Seas, New Amsterdam, and Majestic Princess all have land packages underway. And like I said, if you're listening via the podcast, you can always access it via my blog, which is accessadventure.net, or from wherever you get your podcast from, all the major big hitters iHeartRadio, TuneIn, Spotify, Podchaser, Pandora, Stitcher, Amazon Music, Google Podcasts, all the big guys. Just search for travel and cruise industry news, and the old fat travel guy is going to pop up. So, all right, I'll be back with our two luggage stories after a quick word from one of our network sponsors. All right, the first network, uh, the first, uh, com- uh, the first story, is the, of course, luggage overboard. That's the ma- major story, and we have to travel over on the other side of the pond to Southampton uh, for that one. So, what happens with luggage when you go on a cruise ship? Well, you all know where you you get let off at the port, whether you've uh, ridden a bus in, some kind of transportation you've driven in, whatever it is. You get off at the at the port, and the porters take your luggage. If you assuming that you have it uh, checked through, uh, take the the luggage. They load it into these uh, racks that are called cages, and they take the luggage onto the ship while you go through the check in procedures. You don't see your luggage again until you get uh, and it, it's delivered to your uh, stateroom. Sometimes it's before you actually get to the stateroom yourself. Sometimes it's after. It can be into the evening sometimes. All that luggage and all those racks have to be loaded from the port onto the ship. And then the crew uh, takes care of distributing out to the various staterooms. 
Well, what happened yesterday was a rock getting loaded onto the cruise ship. I don't know if the, the loader broke or it slipped or if the, it was operator error, but the rock full of luggage went into the drink. So what ship was it? It was the P&O Ventura, which was getting ready to sail yesterday. According to social media reports, the luggage cage filled with passenger bags was inadvertently dropped from the Mayflower Terminal at Southampton. That's the oldest terminal at the Southampton cruise port. The luggage, of course, was intended for P&O Cruises, Grand Class Vessel, the Ventura. Now, what happened was that as soon as this happened, they dropped the lifeboats. The lifeboats, of course, quickly recovered the the, uh, luggage. Of course, it's wet. They got it back on the lifeboat. They brought the lifeboat back on board the ship. They took the luggage off. You can see it's sitting there on the wet deck. Now, imagine if that's your clothes. It's wet. Now, hopefully, the crew could still determine what the stateroom it's going to, and you could you can deliver your wet uh, suitcase to your stateroom so you can decide what to do with it. If not, then you could, you know, have a suitcase that you have to go claim, which has happened to some people before that when suitcases weren't delivered to the room. Whatever the case, they are set ready. These Obviously, these bags need to be claimed by the folks that didn't get their luggage. Now, what are they going to do with the luggage? Well, there's, you know, there's things you can do on a cruise ship. You know, there's laundry. I'm sure they pressed the Ventura laundry folks into working a little overtime yesterday to get these guys taken care of. Now, the ship itself, uh, you know, holds... Uh, you know, quite a few people. It's uh, over 3,000 passengers. I don't know. I don't have any numbers as to, you know, wh- what percentage they were sailing at yesterday. Um, but anyway, the, the capacity is 3,198 passengers. Uh, one luggage cage holds 15 to 20 bags, depending on the size. I mean, it could have several people in, in a cabin that's luggage is on the same cage so it could be you know just one or two cabins that took up 15 or 20 bags depending on how many people are staying in the cabin but anyway you got some people that are i'm sure going to be unhappy there was no delays on the sailing of the ventura it departed southampton just right like it should have on time on a 14 night sailing to the canary islands they also have six days at sea, which will let people's luggage dry out. Now, I'm teasing. I'm sure it was laundered and back to them as quickly as possible. I would certainly hope. So that's one story. Luggage overboard in Southampton. Then our own Katie Kendrick. Katie yesterday morning got on a plane in uh, Orlando, Florida, and flew to Seattle to do an Alaska cruise. She and her friend that she's sailing with had reservations in a hotel in Seattle last night, and were getting on the cruise ship today. They got into the airport in Seattle. They go to get their their luggage, you know, at the carousel. So they can get their transport over to the hotel and find out that the luggage is not there. The luggage had been loaded on a truck and was being sent to the cruise port. Now, the problem with that is it's not going to the ship that Katie's sailing on. It was going to an entirely different ship actually an entirely different cruise line. 
So there was a little bit of an issue there in the Seattle airport. It's just not a good day for luggage. Katie and her friend were able to recover it from the truck and go on to their hotel last night. And uh, by the way, they got to the hotel in time to have a nice lunch. Of course, that's Seattle time. Uh, but anyway, it just wasn't a good day for luggage. So down in the comment, folks, if you've ever had problems with luggage on a cruise ship, <laughs> leave me a leave me a comment. I'm lucky. I never have. The only time that I did not get everything in my stateroom was one of my recent cruises and my walker, which I travel with a walker, even though I rent a scooter. Uh, my walker did not make it to um, my cabin. I happened to be riding the scooter back to the elevator and look down the hallway, and there it was sitting outside somebody else's door. So I simply just rode the scooter down and pushed the walker back to my cabin. So that's the only problem that I'd ever had, and it was only, you know, one uh, one uh, hallway over from where I was staying, and it was an easy, quick fix on my part. But if you've ever had trouble with luggage on a cruise, let me know. I don't think it happens very often, uh, not under at least the circumstances I'm aware of. So anyway, folks, that's going to wrap up today's special edition of Travel and Cruise Industry News. As always, we appreciate you being with me. We always appreciate thumbs up. That always helps the channel. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so with the bell notification on. And you'll be notified anytime I go live like this or post a video, which this will be a video. Um, and then, of course, our regular travel and cruise industry news, which is at 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Monday through Friday. The Cruise Amigos are now on uh, Thursday afternoon at 2 o'clock uh, Eastern Daylight Time one o'clock central daylight time and 7 p.m. British summertime on uh, Thursday evenings. So that's it for today, folks. We'll see you next time on travel and cruise industry news. This is the old fat travel guy. Stay safe, stay healthy. Think about cruising and one day we'll see each other on the high seas. Later, y'all. I regularly post videos on all facets of the travel and cruise industry. So if you like to keep up with the latest in cruise ships, ports of call, cruises themselves, chilly chats, and travel and cruise industry news, just hit the little subscribe button in the lower right-hand corner, hit the bell notification so you'll be notified when a new video is up or we go live. This video was produced by Chili's Cruises.